Hey guys, I'm going to do some uh, tiny whoop motor testing here today. Uh, I got some uh, insanely fast 6mm motors from Airblade UAV that they sent in for some testing. And um, I don't have a, you know, a, a bunch of motors that I'm going to be doing in this test, just this and the motors that are currently on my tiny whip right now. Uh, a little bit of background about where what's going on with these motors is uh, I've had these on here for about six months. I bought them I think in May or June, so maybe a little bit less than six months. Uh, replaced the stock motors and these are the ones from uh, Micromotor Warehouse. I, they're the fast motors, not the insanely fast. So these new ones should be better, and, of course because they're faster, but also because they're newer. Um, also, I haven't flown this a ton, but a fair amount, so the, I have noticed that the power on these older motors have have uh, come down a bit since I first got them and so I'm gonna I'm not expecting some great results from the thrust test so uh, I'm gonna do that and then I'll, and then I'm gonna test uh, the new motors I'm gonna do three batteries um, this, which are going to be these uh, these are the 205 milliamp hour my lipo uh, tiny whip batteries I'm gonna do three different batteries because I I'm not exactly sure the state of all my batteries that are about the same age, about six months old, and so um, I think the results are going to be a little bit going to vary. So I'm going to do three different tests and then uh, take the average of the three best numbers for each uh, set of motors. I have this um, sort of rigged up uh, thrust stand here. Basically, uh, it's made out of Dollar Tree foam board. The uh, the two uh, pads here that I created are level and I actually leveled this scale so that it's the same, the same level as the top of the uh, tiny whip over here on this side so there's no uh, leverage effect and the uh, the distance across the lever here is exactly the same so there's not going to be any mechanical advantage. Uh, it's just uh, the pivot point is just a piece of uh, bamboo skewer. So I've already tested it, it, flew, it, uh, it goes back and forth no problem and I'm hoping that uh, you know uh, the results will be pretty good. You know, basically, as the thrust is generated on this side uh, by the tiny whip, it'll push down on the scale on this side. And then on the back side here, I just have a uh, a 4S lipo that is holding the whole thing down, and all the stuff is just kind of held together with hot glue. So I'm gonna move the camera over to this side when the scale's on, so you can see the numbers that are being generated. So you're not gonna see the uh, tiny whip in frame. But I'm gonna do the old motors first. I'm going to do three batteries and then I'm going to do the the new motors and then do three batteries and I'll just put the results on the screen. Test number one. Test number two. Test number three. Okay, so the result from this battery here on the second test uh, seems to indicate this battery might be no good because the, I was just looking at the numbers very very briefly and, and they were about 5 grams lower. So in the um, test for the new motors, I'm just going to use the uh, first and the third battery and average those two results. First test on the new motors. Okay, this is the second battery on the new motors. There's a little bonus video. This is the Eshin Easier 10 with stock motors. Just curious to see what these guys will do 